Hi everyone, are you craving for Korean fried chicken after watching Crash Landing on You? Here's how you can prepare it at home. Just a few simple ingredients, fresh chicken, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and you can use the ready flour mix that you can get at the Korean supermarket. First, you want to use a thin skewer to pierce the chicken so that the flavours from the marinade can fully penetrate the meat. You will need 2 flat teaspoons of salt and 2 teaspoons of dried ground garlic or substituted with 3 cloves of minced garlic followed by black pepper and 3 tablespoons of Korean cooking wine which tastes a little sweet. Then put on your gloves and really get in there and marinate the chicken. Massage the marinade into the chicken meat. Marinate the chicken for at least 4 hours, but for best results, marinate it overnight. It takes some patience, but the results will be worth it, I promise you. The ready-to-use flour mix comes seasoned, but you can add more flavour with the use of dried ground garlic. And the real secret is to use ice water in making the batter because this will result in a lighter and airier crust when you fry the chicken. This is similar to making the batter for tempura where you want the final results to be light and airy and crispy. Whisk until the flour is dissolved and the mixture is smooth. Remove the chicken from the fridge 30 minutes before you're ready to cook it and dip it in the batter. Make sure it's fully coated. Then dredge it in more of the flour mix. Again, make sure it's fully coated in the flour. Before putting the chicken into the deep fryer, make sure you shake off any excess flour. The oil should be heated to 165 degrees Celsius before you place the chicken in to deep fry. Cook the chicken in batches of 4 to 5 pieces. After 8 minutes of cooking, remove the chicken from the oil and place it on a wire rack. To keep the oil clean and prevent burnt pieces of batter from sticking onto the crust of your chicken, use a sieve to remove excess pieces of fried batter. The real secret to getting extra crispy fried chicken is to deep fry it twice. So bring the oil back to 165 degrees and put the chicken in again for about 2 minutes and then you're done. And you're just ready to enjoy Korean fried chicken in the comfort of your own home. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and for more exciting food news, go to the lifestyle section of tmp.sg online.